Hello everyone, thank you for tuning back into my channel, Planning with Kristen. If you're new, welcome. Uh, if you don't know what I do, I do planner videos, unboxings, teach you how to be productive, telling you that you need to put your pen to your paper because what is a planner without a pen? So anyway, I haven't done any type of plan with me for everyone to see in a really long time. So I am bringing those back. Am I gonna do them every single week? Probably not. I'm not gonna even tell you that I'm gonna do that. But I do want to start doing them more over here so you guys can see. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing the month of May because I like to plan out the month coming up before the month starts. It, to me, it just makes sense. So you guys are gonna get a sneak peek of what I have coming for May. As far as for Patreon, um, you'll see that. So maybe I can entice you guys to pledge a dollar or three dollars. I am bringing back all of my planning content for everyone to see and everything lifestyle will be on Patreon. So if you are in the lifestyle videos, the link is at the bottom where you can pledge. And I also have an Instagram account that I upload a lot on as far as lifestyle video goes. So there we go. There's not a lot happening in May. There's really not. I mean, there wasn't before this whole thing with the lockdown. And so there's really not. Um, there is a doctor's appointment, which I doubt will happen. It's the end of May. It's for Haley. But I'm going to put it down just in case something changes. I doubt it, though. So anyway, um, I have this May, not May. I have this Aaron Contra sticker book, the monthly one. I got this last year, I think. The end of, no, I didn't. I got it before I went to Tokyo. So that's why the January is still in here. So I really like these for my monthly spreads because it's just enough stickers to decorate. And I have this washi right here from Simply Gilded. This um, lotus, is it a lotus? I think it's a lotus flower, not sure. Um, my friend Jamie sent me. And then this, I have this washi right here with some copper bows on it. I don't remember what box this came in, one of those. And this came with the... I want to say October, not October, August box last year. So I got these three. I thought they went well with the stickers. So let's get started with this. Um, I hope you guys are staying safe, sitting down, staying in the house. I mean, if you want to go out, that's fine. Just don't complain when you get sick. So um, it's funny. I have six, sixth grade party on here. I filled that out months ago. And all that stuff. So. With that said, let's get started on decorating this month. Let's, um, I want to put, let me put the washi down first and I'll put the stickers. So anyway, I, I shall say this, that I don't use, um, this because May's already there. I use, ha most of the time I use like 75% of this on here and then I take the other stickers and put it in my wellness planner to decorate for that month. So I do use the May for that and then I'll use these strips down here to break up some things so all the stickers can get used so anyway i was gonna say something i completely forgot um i'm in california for all of you guys who don't know most people know that though so our governor who is gavin newsom um has basically said there's no end date <laughs> in sight right now as far as you know how long this is supposed to last with the lockdown and you know what? i'm okay with that not because you know i want to just be stuck in the house i mean i don't mind being stuck in the house but i don't mind the lockdown because california i think is third on the list in the united states for the most cases and recently we just had the highest number of people die in the united states i believe so i'm okay with him saying there's no there's no end date in the near future for this because if you decide you want to open all the stuff back up, that leads to people, you know, getting sick. And I don't want people getting sick. Um, so, yeah, there's that. So, with that said, you know, did I do this upside down? Yeah, that part, that one's upside down, not that. So, you know, it's just a matter of if people really want to go back to work and be able to do the things that they normally do you know your non-essential activities i suggest you sit down you know um you only can control what you do you only can control what goes on in your house you can't control the people um so that's all you can do just sit down and hope for the best so with that said i am doing i plan on doing a whole video on this um about homeschooling I'm over it. <laughs> I am. No, I really. Oh, this is the perforated washi. I think. 
Oh, no, it's not. I cut that piece off for something. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but anyway, um, we were doing packets at first, and now we're doing Google Classroom, which in hindsight seems very easy, right? Seems very easy. Oh, we're just going to do some, you know, Google Classroom. Um, but at the same time, I guess this is the perforated washi. I wasn't sure because it's just cut. Anyway, I, I thought it was going to be really, really easy with the Google Classroom, which it's easier than the packets because I don't have to worry about what to do. And, you know, and the math does have some hints on there. But at the same time, I still feel like these teachers just kind of threw this work at us and said, still, hey, do this. You know, there hasn't been any real... Um, no, there hasn't been like anything for like a Zoom meeting or anything like that. And I'm just like, I don't understand why. You know, I had to email my daughter's teacher, math teacher, and tell, explain to her that, you know, my daughter wasn't doing algebra when she was at her last school. So can we set up something? And then she basically told me, this is what she told me, y'all. She basically sent me something that said like here's the link of the order it should be done and i'm just like girl that ain't what i asked you <laughs> i asked for some help um but okay you know i have always admired teachers because i don't have the patience to be one so i've always you know ever since it started i was like teachers need raises but the more i go into this and i see the less these teachers want to work i'm not talking about all teachers i'm talking about the teachers i have for my child I see the less they want to work. I'm just like, you know what? No, let's give the teachers raises who actually want to do their jobs because, you know, this was just thrown to us. You know, we didn't really have a say so on if we even want to do this. I, you know, I get it because everybody, you don't go to get sick, so you have to shut down schools. I get it. But I'm not a teacher. The last time I did anything related to algebra, I was in the eighth grade and I graduated from high school almost 20 years ago. So. Um, I just don't get how they are expecting us as parents to be able to teach these students how to do all of this work. You know, I, it's easy for me to tell my child to read for 30 minutes. It's easy for me to tell my child to watch this video and write what she saw in the video. Um, but as far as math goes, I, I don't know how to teach that. So we're trying the best we can. We finished up her math for the week. We didn't worry about the test because... It kept saying it was late and I tried to do it anyway. So it was late, it was supposed to be due at 12. We finished like at 12.05. And so it, it wouldn't let me like go back and do the correct answer. So I basically said, F it. And said, okay, since you don't want to do the correct answers, we'll just, you know, whatever. I'm not worried about it. So my advice to everyone that's doing this homeschooling thing is just try the best you can. Um, talk to your child's teacher. And if they're giving you the runaround, just give them the same effort that they're giving you, basically, you know? So yeah, my oldest daughter is doing pretty well. She's not, you know, she doesn't really need any help. She's always been pretty good at math, which I'm glad about. And only thing she's doing now is correcting some math. She's not really um, doing it. She's just correcting some. And um, if you guys hear noise outside, I don't know if it's a trash can or what. But um, she's, she's doing pretty well with her stuff. She has English and health, and I think she's gonna do like one elective and she's done. I think what it is is because even though she'll be done after this, I think her teacher's trying to give her like busy work. So she technically works till the end of the school year. I don't know why, I figure if you're done, you're done. Um, but maybe there was something in the guidelines that she said, you know, she has to do work, I don't know. But anyway, um, She's almost done and you know, my daughter's a senior, so there's no graduation this year. And you know what, I know a lot of parents want to see their kids walk across the stage and I was, you know, I'm one of those who, who wouldn't mind seeing my daughter walk across the stage, but at the same time, I'm just like, let's focus on the bigger issue and that is making sure people get well. Is, you know, it's okay, also speaking of school, Something that was funny to me is I have seen all these parents um, with my my local, you know, my news channels with the Facebook streams and all of that stuff. My people here in the city are just, they said their kids are like devastated that their kids um, can't go to school. <laughs> 
and that they're, you know, I can understand like being mad about prom and being mad about graduation, but they're like, my kid was crying because they couldn't go to school. I'm just like, oh. I told Alyssa that school was canceled and she was like, oh, good. You know, and then when I told her it was canceled for the rest of the year, she damn near had a celebration about it. So I just, I think it's wishful thinking that these parents wish their kids were devastated. And I also think it's because the parents don't want to have to be a teacher too, which I also get. But, um, but yeah, but anyway, anyway, let me get on to this planning. <laughs> the 2nd of May is my brother's birthday. And so I'm going to write that, I'm going to write that in this green, this um, green duo, Aaron Condren duo. So I'm just going to put, my brother's name is Dwight. And he's two years younger than me. So I'm going to be, what, 37 this year? Yeah. So he's going to be 34, 34. Jesus Christ. He is going to be 35. Um, so we have, yeah. And then on the 12th and 26th, I'm going to use this peach color. That is when my recycle can gets emptied. So I'm just going to put a blue can because our can is blue. Put that down here. All right. And I put 28th last day of school. I guess I could still put that technically. Um, even though there's nothing going to be going on. All right, and speaking of siblings, my sister got engaged recently, um, which is cool. You know, I mean, she's not planning a wedding right now, anyway. Um, but I don't, I don't really expect her to. My sister's very, very simple, so I don't think, you know, that she would do a wedding, a, a big wedding, anyway. Whenever she does it, but yeah, that is that is the most exciting thing that's happened in my month. So I'm gonna get started with writing down, um, oh, a doctor's appointment, let me write that down. Doctor's appointment for Haley the 28th. I'm just gonna put a question mark um, because I don't know if it's gonna actually happen at 1.30. And it's for her valley fever doctor for infectious disease. Um, which is why I've been telling people to sit there and sit down because you got people with compromised immune systems. So anyway, I'm going to get started. That's the only thing that's happening in my personal life as far as um, plans. So I'm going to get right started with writing all of this um, YouTube stuff down. So you guys are going to get an hourly plan with me and I'm just going to write it in pen. In my Simply Gilded pen. So you're going to get an hourly plan with me because I figure you guys may want to see um how i plan my teach not my teacher but Alyssa's teacher today on a friday that i'm filming this sent over a schedule of how long kids should be working and what they should be doing i'm like oh you sent this on a friday okay so anyway <laughs> anyway so i will point i'll plan that and i'm gonna tweak the schedule as needed it doesn't I guess it's for a guide for people who need to be really, really structured because Alyssa finished ahead of schedule today, which is good. Um, so yeah, and I'll put, I'll do homeschooling how it's going because that's a good video to do towards the end of May. All right, so we have homeschooling how it's going and then I am going to do an April flip through. So you guys can see all my different spreads. All right, so we cross that out. So I have to flip through. And I'm gonna do an updated Simply Gilded collection. I did one on Patreon, but I'm gonna do it on for you guys to see. All right, did homeschooling. And that's pretty much all I have as far as YouTube videos go. Um, I don't have anything for right there, but I'm sure I'll think of something. So as far as Patreon goes, I am going to do, I like doing cooking videos. So I'm gonna do a cook with me. Not really cook with me. I mean, I, I mean, I guess you can if you're cooking. If you want to like watch the video, then go back and watch it later when you're actually cooking. And so I am going to do a get ready with me right here. And skincare. 
I talk about skincare on Patreon and what products work. And organization video. I don't know exactly what kind of organization video I'm gonna do, but there's gonna be an organization video. I want a garden update. I'll do a garden update uh, right here. All right, that is that right there. Um, I don't have anything as far as podcasts go because I'm trying to see if it's something that I still want to keep doing. I don't like talking to myself. I don't. Um, and so I always look at how many listeners I have and I'm just like, okay, do I still want to do this or not? So we'll see. We'll see. Um, if you guys have any podcast topics, let me know. And hopefully we'll actually listen to it if you suggest a topic. But that's pretty much it. Um, as far as content goes, I don't really have anything. Um, I do know I will be, oh, that, I will put that right there. Um, rating Simply Gilded's, um, <coughs> um, mystery items. I thought that would be a fun video to rate all of the mystery items from what I think is like, I don't want to say worse because it's not a bad mystery item. Um, but from my favorite to least favorite. Um, so I'll put that right there. And I did I miss anything? Let me see. Let me see if I missed anything. I don't, I don't think I missed anything. So yeah, I do have, um, you know, there's a Simply Good unboxing. Um, it'll probably be the April box because I think she said she's probably not gonna be able to ship it till the first week of May. So I'll just put this over here. And I'll fill it in when I plan my weeks. And I know my teacher planning is coming next week. So that'll be in April. But yeah, that's that's all of May. Nothing, nothing much going on. Um, my gardener comes on Fridays. Let me write that in. I usually remember, but I like to have it written. So when I'm planning my week, I'm like, oh, okay, let me write that in. Gardener. Oh, I need to put pay gardener on the first. I'll just put a little dollar sign right there. Oh, and payday is the first and the 15th. All right, there we go. So that's everything. Simple, cute spread, looks like spring. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, a little lengthy. That's okay. So if you are not subscribed, why don't you go ahead and do that and hit a thumbs up and subscribe. I already said that. See you later. Bye.